Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's tutorial on how to install Windows 7 on your MacBook Pro uh, or on your Mac Apple MacBook. <coughs> okay, so to do this guys, you can actually do it by, via a program called Bootcamp. Um, to find Bootcamp, just go into your Finder in the Spotlight menu bar and type in Bootcamp, B O O T C A. MP and it should come up and it will say Bootcamp Assistant. Click on that one. <coughs> Alright, see so Bootcamp basically will partition your drive in, in two parts and will allow you to install Windows 7. Now why would you want to install Windows 7 for? Well you might have some software that you want to run in Windows 7 which won't actually run on the Mac or the Apple software. So you'll get this introduction screen come up and just click on continue. <coughs> Alright, we've got two menus here. One is download the latest Windows support software from Apple, and the other one is remove Windows 7. Now, I already have Windows 7 installed on the partition of this machine, and I've already downloaded the latest uh, Windows support software from Apple, but you need to tick both of these um, to go and then go to the next step. Um, and what it will actually do, I'll just show you very quickly. When you tick that, it will say to use the Windows support software, burn a copy to CD or DVD, or save the software to an e external disk. Okay, so because I've already done this, I don't need to do this now. But what I would normally do um, is save it to a USB. So you would select this, save a copy to an external drive, plug in your CD, plug in your DVD. Uh, sorry, plug in your USB, and then you'll be able to um, install the software to that. Um, if you just want to burn it to a DVD or CD, you can select this option here. Before now, we don't need these options, we'll just leave that blank. So we're going to remove the Windows 7, so I'm going to uninstall um, the Windows 7 partition which I already have on this machine. Okay, and This part here says restore the disk to a single volume, so this means it's going to remove my Windows 7 partition which I already have, and then it's going to make the disk one disk again. So hit restore. <coughs> type in type in the password. Now to do this, guys, obviously you'll need the um, the USB key. It needs to be about one gig in size. The one I've got is one gigabyte. Um, and what you also need as well is you'll need Windows 7 DVD or um, yeah you'll actually need the Windows 7 DVD to get all the, the Windows files from that DVD now where it says download the support software that actually contains all the drivers necessary for your Mac to run with Windows so it's essential that you have you either download a copy of that and put it on your USB drive or you download it and put it on your DVD drive. If you find that your buttons after installation, you find that your buttons like your your sound and your um, brightness on your screen doesn't work, that means that the downloads of the drivers or the Windows support software from Apple haven't been applied properly. Alright, so now you can see it says the Windows partition has been removed and your disk has now been restored to a single disk. So this is what most of you guys will have. You'll just have, this is the process that everyone should have now uh, from here on. So you hit continue. You don't need to download it because we already have the download. <coughs> um, we want to install Windows 7, so click continue. Alright, now it wants us to, to divide the partition. Okay, so as you can see here, out of 229 gig, there is 203 free, um, on, and that's for the OS X partition, and then you can see the Windows partition here is only 20 gig, so we're going to just hit divide equally, and you can slide this bar back and forth and divide however you want, but for the tutorial we're just going to hit divide equally and then click install. Right now, at this stage, it will actually ask for your DVD, your Windows 7 DVD. So pop that DVD in, <coughs> and it should actually pick up that DVD and go to the next stage. 
if it doesn't find it it will actually prompt us and say you need to put in your DVD now okay so now it's found the DVD and it's just starting to partition the disk <coughs> so dividing it equally will actually give you um, two disks essentially on your one hard disk on your MacBook Pro and that will allow you to dual boot so you'll be able to log into OS X or you'll be able to log into Windows whichever you want to do now if you find that you install this and then you get back to the start and you say well how do I get back to uh, the Mac OS X you can simply restart your machine but make sure you hold down the alt option or the alt button on your Mac and that will allow you to then boot into uh, uh, either Windows or your OS X partition so you haven't lost anything by doing this um, you've just gained an extra operating system as such that you can boot into Alright, so it's just partitioning the disk now. Alright, and it's going to do a reboot. Alright, that's the Mac Chime there. says Windows is loading files so it will take a little while to load all the files from the DVD to its new partition so it's gone past that screen now and it's at the starting window screen and you can see some of you might be familiar with the Windows logo coming up alright <coughs> so now we've got language to install English time and currency, so I've got the United States, it's going to change that and then keyboard or import method, I'm just going to leave it as US and then click install now setup is starting accept the license terms and then next right, click on custom All right, we've got our bootcamp partition here click on drive options delete click OK click on unallocated space click on new click apply so we want to we want to have it as the maximum size so just click apply and then click next All right and that will start to copy the Windows files and then move to expanding the Windows files so this may actually take a little while so um, I will stop the video for the time being and then I'll start it just as this is finishing um, so we don't actually miss anything okay and 
see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so it's moved on now to the next step. So it's copied the Windows files across, it's expanded the Windows files, it's installing features, so it's finished installing updates, and now it's going to complete the installation. Okay, so we can restart it now. Right, and there's the Apple Mac chime when it's rebooting. into the DVD but we don't want to install Windows because we've just done that. So now it's just had the starting Windows screen. And you'll see the familiar uh, Windows 7 startup menu. Okay, it says setup is updating the registry settings. So let's we'll do a few things here. It should uh, install a few more things, bits and pieces, and then it will uh, move to the next screen as it's doing now. Setup is starting services. Okay, and now it's gone back to completing installation. And as you can see now, the, um, the screen seems, the resolution on the screen seems to have changed a little bit. It's gotten a little bit neater. That's a good sign because that actually means that it's picked up the correct uh, driver um, from the Windows support software that we downloaded before. So that actually means that it's going to install well. Um, I wouldn't be too worried if it doesn't have the same setup there or the, the same uh, resolution. But it's definitely a good sign um, if it's kind of got if the resolution has um, gone up a little bit. Okay, so it's just completing the installation. So this may actually take some time. Um, from what I've noticed, completing the installation takes a little bit of time, and then what what it will do is it will actually restart itself shortly. So we'll just wait for that happen. I'll leave the video running because it's quite. Um, hard to judge when it will change so I'll just leave it running for the time being and then once it restarts um, we'll be able to move to the next step ok, let's go on to the next screen, setup will continue after restarting your computer so it's going to restart now There's the Mac chime. It will try and detect. It will detect the DVD is in the slot of the MacBook Pro again. Um, it will ask if we want to boot into that DVD. And we won't press any button here because normally you could you could boot into the DVD. You would press any key to boot into it and install Windows, but we're past that stage now, so we'll just let it boot. Okay, got the starting Windows screen again. We have the Windows 7 Microsoft logo. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. This is a pretty positive sign. Setup is checking video performance. So this is checking your video drivers. Alright. 
so that's uh, Windows 7 this is the professional that we've installed and now it wants us to type a username so we're just going to put in 123 my IT okay and then click next okay password let's have it have it the same 123 my IT and tab and we'll retype again 123 my IT type a hint 123 my IT we'll hit next alright now it says do you want to help protect your computer and import improve windows automatically there's three options here use recommended settings install import and updates only or ask me later these are generally pretty important if you don't want to get viruses and um, or you don't want to be hacked that type of thing um, so these are like patch up vulnerabilities within the operating system so for new users I would just say use recommended settings um, for myself though I'm only going to use you know, install import and updates only okay put in your time and date and uh, your location and then hit next okay um, you can actually go on and, and if you have a, a Wi-Fi close by you can set up your Wi-Fi um, but I'm just going to hit skip for now alright it says Windows is finalizing your settings and it may actually ask us to reboot it looks like it's going to the welcome screen preparing your desktop Okay, and then you've got your Windows 7 screen. Now the, there's a few things to, to check for once it's installed and see if it's if, if, if it's worked okay. The first thing to check is your screen brightness. Can we press those? Does anything come up to give us the screen brightness? It doesn't. Does our keypad brightness work? It doesn't. Does our sound go up and down? doesn't seem to work. So if that's the case, um, basically you haven't downloaded or you haven't installed your, your uh, Windows support software at the back of the start of the tutorial. Let's have another look. Right click computer, go to manage. This will also tell us if, if that software is installed properly. Go to device manager. Okay, and as you can see here we're missing USB host controller, built-in site eyesight compressor, and SM bus controller. Now, if you have these, basically what that means is that the, the drivers weren't installed correctly um, with your Windows software, and a lot of people have problems this problem with uh, this tutorial. So what you need to do is go back and make sure you tick download Windows support software save it to a USB and make sure you keep that USB um, uh, installed on your machine and then what will happen is when you boot up these will all be installed correctly you won't have any asterisks, yellow asterisks on the drivers and you'll also be able to push up and down um, on your keyboard to set your brightness set your sound and everything like that Ok guys, well thanks for watching the tutorial, if that helped you out please uh, give me a thumbs up, um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop me a line on the, the website, um, also check out my website for more tutorials, uh, so that my website is www.123myit.com, great, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.